parents have sent to us. The Lord established for him a covenant of peace and made him the prince that he might have the dignity of the priesthood forever. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Amen. your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us our sins. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we shall go into such and such a town, spend a year there doing business, and make a profit. You have no idea what your life will be like tomorrow. You are a puff of smoke that appears briefly and then disappears. Instead, you should say, If the Lord wills it, we shall live to do this or that. But now you are boasting in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. For no, for one, so for one who knows not, who knows the right thing to do, and does not do it, is a sin. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven. Hear this, all you peoples, hearken, all who dwell in the world, of lowly birth or high degree, rich and poor alike. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days when my wicked ensnares bring me around? They trust in their wealth, the abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Blessed are the poor in spirit, there is his kingdom. For he can see that wise men die, and likewise the senseless and the stupid pass away, leaving to others their wealth. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we have the option to celebrate St. Regis of Cassian, the patron saint of impossible cases, but I wanted to focus on St. James, that reading that we heard uh, early on. James 
when he wrote. At first glance, one might think James is speaking against capitalism or against making a profit. You who say, uh, come now, we'll go on next year, make a profit in this town. It's not about that. It's about something that I would speculate, and please, it's only a guess. Um, I think every one of us falls into this category. It's a form of casual or laissez-faire atheism. Because we don't think about it, we just do it. What do I mean by that? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do next week? Heck, I'm already planned out next week. You know, I'm already planning out what I'm going to do next month. You know, I'm setting my schedules. And I don't stop and realize, and I'm going to speak only for myself here, I don't stop and realize my life. Puff of smoke. That's all it is. There's no guarantee I'm going to finish this homily. I hope to. There's no guarantee. And that's what James is remarking. We can plan to do all these things in the future, but our life, a puff of a smoke, it can be gone that quickly. So why don't we focus on God? And we say, God willing, next week, God willing, next month, next year, but also in the God willing, to put in the back of my minds, I need to be right with God spiritually. I need to be right with God spiritually. Because you never know when it happens. And you want to make sure that whenever you appear in front of God, you're not caught unawares but you're prepared. So that's the, the crux with James. Just have a good, positive aspect in life. God willing, we'll get through everything, but at the same time, let me make sure I am spiritually prepared in case, God willing, I'm standing in front of him real soon. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray for both. Oh, yeah. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray for the Lord. Oh, yeah. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Excuse me. And let us pray for the Ben Nonmaker family for whom this Mass is being offered this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we say. Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Bless are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands who will become for us the bread of life. Yes, we
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our liberty to the Lord is the church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, right. Right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father Most Holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining to your holy people, he stretched out his hands to endure this passion. So as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God, 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 heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by putting down in the spirit upon them like the default, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread on it, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Where you cross in our direction, you have sent us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring to her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, who may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not on temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
to awake the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take the Lord's sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should have done my will. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sing songs to your name, O Most High. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ascended to go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Glory to God from the Archangel. Defend us to battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God forgive him and him which pray. May the evil of the rest of the heavenly host, by the divine power, thrust in hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be those who fear and favor me. 